Hey everyone, Matt here from Docs Running. Today we're going to do a sub two on the Hoka Tecton X2. So this is one of Hoka's carbon plated trail racing shoes. We re reviewed this and have a full written review out with both David and my thoughts, but I wanted to get a sub two out just to get a little bit more thoughts. It, it's fairly similar to the last version, at least sole wise with a new upper that provides a little bit more snug and secure fit up top. But before we get any farther, let's get into some specs. Men's size nine, 8.8 .8 ounces. Women's size eight, 7.4 ounces. 32 millimeters in the heel, 27 in the forefoot, 30 in the in for men's, 30 in the heel, 25 for the forefoot for the women's size with a um, five millimeter drop across the board. Two parallel carbon fiber, fiber plates in the midsole with a ProFly uh, Plus, sorry, midsole that's still EVA based. So a teeny bit of bounce, but nothing crazy. This shoe works best for moderate distance, faster efforts. It's just like the last version where for me, if I was going a little bit up tempo, it worked really well. Tempo efforts, up tempo efforts on the trail work great. Um, some moderate runs did really, really well. This outsole grips decently on trail, but it's mild enough that it does really well on road and trail. So I've done like long road miles in this. I've done trail miles, it does great. Not the best for really aggressive trails, but really good for somewhat well-groomed if you need to get a little bit more aggressive, but can also handle versatility into road. So varied terrain, this shoe's gonna work really well, but I think it's gonna work better, like I said, for more moderate distances when you're trying to pick up the pace. Easy efforts, as I said, don't feel good, so I wouldn't choose this for a ultra marathon. I'd choose this for like a trail 10K to half marathon. Definitely like the half marathon distance where you're still gonna wanna go a little quicker, but you're not going super fast because I think Hulk has better shoes for that, but you're not gonna go super long. It's great, works really well for hill repeats, up tempo runs, fast downhill efforts. It's something that feels tuned. I'm really hoping that uh, the next version has a super foam in it, but this one, it's gonna be consistent. Last one, just a little more secure in the upper.